Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Zakir bhai, what is the difference between Nabi and a Rasul? Brother, the question, what is the difference between a Nabi and a Rasul? Nabi means a person who is a prophet of God. And Rasul is a prophet of God who has got Risalat, who has got a message, and the right word is messenger. So Nabi is just a prophet of God who has been sent down to warn them, to guide them. But a prophet to whom a message has been given, a wahi has been given, is called a Rasul. He brings a Risalat, brings a message. Every Rasul has to be a Nabi. But every Nabi need not be a Rasul. That means to be a Rasul, you have to be a prophet of God. Now all prophets do not have a wahi that has been revealed to them. So all those prophets, all the Nabis, to whom a wahi, a message has been revealed to them for the whole of mankind or to the community, that prophet, that Nabi is called as a Rasul. So therefore in the Quran, when we analyze this mention in the Quran in Surah Azab, chapter number 33, verse number 40, مَا قَانَ مُحَمَّدٌ أَبَا أَحْدِ مِرْجَالِكُمْ وَلَاكِ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَخَاتِمِ النَّبِينَ وَقَانَ اللَّهِ بِكُلِّ شِنَ عَلِيمًا That Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the father of any of you men, but he is a messenger of God. And he is a seal of the prophets. That means, he is a messenger of God, that means a prophet, with a message. As well as it says, he is the seal of the prophets. That means after him no prophet will come. So the moment it says no prophet will come, it is understood no Rasul will also come. Because to become a Rasul, you have to be a Nabi. To become a messenger, you have to be a prophet. So this verse says that Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God and is the last prophet. That means he's the last prophet and the last messenger. After that, if anyone claims that he's a prophet of God or a messenger of God, he requires a psychiatrist. Hope that answers the question.